Well, it is that time again. Mom to Mom is back, and every week, Erin Mayofsky chats with a group of local moms about life through the pandemic. Yeah, today's hot topic, what the ladies have learned this past year and how it's changing the way they'll live life moving forward. So here's Erin. Now it's time to hook back up with our four fabulous local moms. They've been with us for four weeks. Amy, Cindy, Kim, and Bryn, how are you doing on this day? We are great. Yeah, thank you so much. We have covered so many topics, uh, soccer being the common thread here that's kind of weaved this situation all together. We all play soccer. We all done it as uh, in our youth, and we're all kind of working moms and trying to make our way through the pandemic. I want to talk about the health crisis a little bit. It's been challenging, to say the least, at times. Do you think where we're at now, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, and how is this going to affect the way you live the rest of your life? Bryn. Uh, absolutely. I think we're definitely feeling the, the breath of fresh air. Well, quite literally for my family, this, this experience gave us, it forced a reset. And with the reset, we said we want to schedule less and we want to go outside more. And so we have, and that's what we did for the whole year. And now it's, now it's a change in the way of our life of continually getting outside and not filling our lives up so much. Yeah. Amy, how about you? You're outside a lot anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, it, it does allow us to take, you know, we realized how much we do take for granted. And so I've been coaching for the last year behind a mask and we've got new kids in our club that I've actually never seen before. If they knocked on my door without their mask, which is really sad, I don't, I don't think I would know who they were. Right. So I, I do think um, I, I'm, not, I'm pretty much all in day by day and haven't really thought about what this future looks like. But I do know that taking a pause, if you know, we ask our kids all the time, what's something good that has come from this? One is like, I actually enjoy my family. Another one is like, I really know how much I miss my friends. I miss hugging people. And you know what? I can't wait to get into a classroom. So I think if we remember these things, we can come out on the other side better than we went into this. And, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, for sure. Now, Cindy, how about you? I know there's always the rat race of trying to get to your own soccer game, trying to feed your kids. And, you know, sometimes we've played on similar teams. We've talked on the phone. Hey, I'm going to be there right at kickoff. It's just crazy at times. How are you managing? Because everything's slowed down and you're working from home a lot of the times, too, and you're on Zoom a lot. Yeah, the same as Amy and Bren, you know, I think um, definitely this pandemic has made, made our lives just slow down so much more. I mean, before pre-pandemic, it was just, I would pack our weekends. My husband was just like, oh my gosh, we got this going on. So now it's actually, like, we have weekends where we're actually just spending time together and having a new little little one, you know, has also been nice for us to just kind of relax and enjoy time with both with our children. Yeah, for sure. You've kind of got back to the core of your base. And Kim, I know that, you know, you also had a baby during this pandemic. And, you know, a lot of people talk about that and say, oh, pandemic, COVID baby time. Hey, what a great time, though, because you are able to be at home and you're able to manage both, right? Your work life, your home life, your new baby, and hopefully soccer someday. Yeah, exactly. No, the pandemic has definitely some positives. I know it's been really, really hard, but life slowing down a little bit has been one really great thing. You know, having my husband home with me while I've been on uh, family leave has been really great. Um, one thing that I am looking forward to as we all get vaccinated is actually getting to see, you know, our friends and family. That's one thing that's been really hard is not really getting to introduce our baby to all of our friends. So we're looking forward to that. So wanting to socialize and then also being able to kind of really appreciate, you know, this, our core family. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. And one stat that I wanted to mention you guys, and Amy, you probably know this, is there are 3 million kids that play organized soccer in the U.S. between the ages of 4 and 19. Also, that's according to U.S. Youth Soccer, and with nearly 130,000 players right here in our backyard in Washington. Isn't that amazing? It is, and I do think Washington State in particular has a great sporting culture and a great community for getting outdoors, whether you're in an organized sport or not. I, I'm not surprised by that at all. Yeah, for sure, and I just uh, want to give out a shout out to all the clubs, especially OL Reign, the academies, and all the other clubs across our area for really doing, I think, a fabulous job of getting the kids back into play mode even though they're having to social distance and uh, wear their masks. So thanks, guys, again for chatting with us. We appreciate all that you do. Keep on keeping on and being you, and we will see you and talk to you real soon, hopefully on the field, right? Yes. All right, back to you guys.